hello there welcome back to the new lecture so in this lecture we have to discuss how to transfer hap report to revit so suppose in hap you have done the changes whatever heat is added you have added like uh, in account department, account department i have done the changes some you know that i have uh, given the wall partition also okay i have taken the partition and everything so okay now you want to transfer this HAP report to Revit. So what you have to do? So for that you have to open the uh, Revit software first of all. See, before changing, before transferring the HAP report in Revit, see the TR is showing for account department is 1.1 and supply airflow 533 CFM. So for that now, here also the first point we have to create the space schedule for HAP heat load calculation so how to create all of you know analyze step report and schedule schedule or quantity so under just select that schedule and quantity under category you have to select the spaces so see i have selected a space and now write down the name is space schedule for uh, for have uh, heat load calculation hlc hit on okay now what parameter you want to see in that schedule just add it look uh, let's say i want to see the level so i have selected level add it now i want to see the name of that space number so whatever you want area so where is area select uh, area and now i want to see the design cooling load design heating whatever just design cooling load now i want to see the specified supplier see airflow rate just add that also anything else just add it okay then finally hit on okay do the setting as i told you uh, in sorting and grouping sort by level all of you know i want to see the uh, level in header footer here select the total only if you want blank line select the blank line okay okay now you want to hide the level area you want to see the post. so in formatting just select the level in field formatting check hidden okay getting you want to see the area so same in formatting only select the area here in this list you have to select the calculate total okay now see the area is visible so in this way also uh, you have to create the space schedule for HAP heat load calculation same way close it from here now see here we have created getting we have created the space schedule close it now same thing uh, if you uh, we have to change the space tag also for HAP HLC okay because I want to see now I want to see the whatever after the changes whatever cooling load and C CFM is coming I want to see that so we have to change the space tag for that so for that select the existing tag okay I will I will just show you for this tagging select because we have done the changes in account department so for that remember the TR and CFM select the tag existing tag modify tab edit family from here you have to select the label edit label option is given select it now here you can see design cooling load uh, just already calculated cooling load or calculated supply airflow is for uh, which we have done in uh, revit software whatever heat load calculation we have done so for that if you want to see in this tagging only you want to see the cooling load and specified airflow for which you are doing after the changes so just add design cooling load anywhere it is given design cooling load add that also and then specified supply airflow okay i have added remember okay design cooling load and specified supply airflow from here just uh, write down zero only okay suppose this is this, when we have done the changes after that when we are transferring the HAP into report so I want to see that detail here in design cooling road so check the break let's say then apply okay okay so from here save a uh, file tab save as family just for your understanding purpose I am showing here save it to the desired location with the name space tag for it uh, space tag for HAP heat load calculation for HAP I am writing here now save it into the desktop now finally load into project and close like this okay now open your floor plan 
how much uh, the result you will get from the app so for that you have to check the result then yeah if you want to check the result okay we have done everything uh, here in system also you have to select hit on new default system we are using ahu so write down the system name ahu equipment we are supplying a chill water air handling unit let's say and system we have taken VAV system if you remember this thing number of zone is depends on what number of spaces so here I am selecting only one space now because uh, remember we have a multiple space but we don't know the quantity I want to show you only for account department now in second system component in duct system you have to take the 10% heat gain value 5% uh, duct leakage from here now return air is going through ducted okay ducting so select it now come here in supply fan here you can select the fan type and whatever configuration is totally static if you are using ahu so two inch over water gauge select it okay and then finally come to next one zone component in zone component write down vav one and you can select the room account department only i am selecting okay because i want to see the detail uh, so as per your requirement you can select then sizing data 10 percent safety factor for cooling sensible cooling latent and for heating if you want to give okay then in equipment no input data required so hit on okay but see here one error is showing okay so means we have to create the schedule for thermostat so create a schedule here you can write down thermostat like this and thermostat hit on in schedule type hit on fan or thermostat okay okay now see if you want to see the result light click print view design result hit on that now see the result is ready if you want to see the preview see the preview of that result okay if you want to open the next page from here hit on next page where it is account department see space load and airflow VAV system we are using cooling sensible now it is showing 15.6 means in mbh if you want to convert in tr so you have to divide by 12 so 15.6 divide by 12 is how much when you do now you will get around 1.3 tr it means after the changes 1.3 tr airflow is now increasing see, see why because uh, we have added partition wall detail also now. so okay cooling load is 1.3 tr supply airflow value is 769 now you have to do the changes open the revit here come here okay so already we have created that do the changes in here first you have to just select the existing tag replace it with updated one where is see uh, space tag for HAP. so now you will get that detail also so here you can change that uh, value from here 1.3 tr it is showing now and the cfm is increasing and showing 769 i think in hap report okay so now see how much changes is uh, when you have added the partition wall details so see here your cfm will increase 769 now and tr is also increased 0 0.2 ton so in this way that is why i'm telling revit will not take all detail like partition wall and everything so when you add this detail now so your tr means cooling capacity and supplier cfm will increase okay so in this way you have to transfer the HAP report same way for each and every room you have to do it okay so this is all about how to transfer HAP report to revit i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one